What's up guys, it's Tyler from Wensco and today we're going to go through on how to install VersaWorks on your computer. We'll go through the whole install process, so if you just got a printer or if you need to reinstall your software, hope this video helps, so let's go ahead and get started. To start we're just going to press OK on here with our language. What you need to know is you do have to install this with a CD, so if you don't have a CD drive you'll have to get an external one or a portable one, one you just plug in via USB and do it that way so that's the only way you can install it if you don't have one sorry you can't install it offline there's just not an option for that with VersaWorks so we're just gonna go ahead and go through this installer so the first thing you're gonna do is just press next on here you can read through their software license agreement once you've gone through all of that you can hit I accept the terms and click next on there as well this is where you could put your information in this is just for Roland to get a hold of you here so after you've input your information you can just go ahead and hit next pick where you want to install it i'm just going to use the default location as i think it's a fine place for it to go once i pick that i can go ahead and hit next again and from here we can install the printer we're going to actually skip and say no and we'll install our printer later and then we're just going to go ahead and hit install and this can take a little bit of time so don't be surprised if this takes, you know, a good 5, 10, 15 minutes even to go through this. And I'll be back when it's done. Once it is finished, you can go ahead and click finish. It's then going to ask you to restart your computer. So make sure that everything is saved properly and then go ahead and restart it. And we'll be back to finish this install. After you've restarted your computer, VersaWorks should be installed, it should be there on your desktop so you can just go ahead and double click that to open it up. It'll bring you to the printer install menu. If for some reason you exit out of this, I'm actually going to show you how to get back to it. So what we're actually going to do is just go ahead and hit cancel here so that we're not installing it now. So that if you happen to exit out of this, when you do the install you'll know how to get to it so you can still install your printer. So after that it should open up, you can go up to printer hit printer settings and it should pop up this menu again. And then once you're in this screen, this shows the printer that we already had installed as I'm on a different computer now. You're just gonna enter the name of the printer that you're going to use. So in this case, we're using the Roland XR640 and then we're gonna pull the IP address that you can get off of the menu on your printer. Once you've done that, you can click verify and it should show you your printer down at the bottom there. And I'll just hit apply and then hit OK. All of these messages I'm getting is because I'm overwriting an existing printer. So if you're installing a new printer, you're not going to get these warning messages that are popping up. But if you were doing it over an existing printer, you would get them. But after that, it should show you your printer up at the top with the status of ready to print as long as the printer is actually ready to print. So from here, you can go in and open up a file, add it to queue, and you would be all set to print. So I hope this helps with your install of Roland VersaWorks. If you're trying to install VersaWorks, I hope this video helped you. If you still need help, you can definitely contact us here at Wensco and we'll gladly help you out. But if you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments what you'd like to see us do next. And if you like anything you saw in this video, you can check it out at wensco.com. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.